John Bowden, Rocky Stream Music. How is everyone today? Um, haven't been on a little while. Uh, this is, was a very important, um, very important story to cover. 69 years old, Ian Berenson, who was with Pilot, who was with the Alan Parsons Project, worked on the first few Kate Bush albums. Second from the left, there he is, has passed away. He was suffering from, his wife had made an announcement a few years ago that he could not perform any longer because of uh, some kind of neurological thing that he was dealing with. And and since his death, it's been, a lot of folks were uh, uh, mentioning that uh, it was dementia, uh, some sort of, and uh, he passed away at his, uh, as far as we know, at his home. There's some pictures of him. That's the latter part. But when you, I, I always think of, when I think of Ian, I think of uh, the guitar solo on the second Alan Parsons Project album, which is I, Robot, which is my favorite. And I think of, of uh, I Wouldn't Want to Be Like You. Like that, that was just amazing. And then the harmonizing guitars on Pilot with uh, a Magic, the big, their big hit in North America, uh, uh, which was overpowering, which was just unbelievable. And, and he really was that. And, and Keats, he was with, but there was a lot of, uh, which was sort of an Alan Parsons project offshoot. But with Kate Bush, he played uh, the first four albums, A Kick Inside, uh, Weathering Heights, remember that from there. Lionheart, Never Forever, which is my favorite Kate Bush album. And The Dreaming. I'm just going to get to your comments. Make sure I've got them coming up here. There we go. Hi, Dwayne. Hello, John. Sorry to hear about this. Uh, we have a, a, a few different ones today, um, which I'll get to in a later, a later broadcast. A lot of side players. Uh, thanks uh, very much, uh, Luis. Um, appreciate it. But uh, it, this one hit me because i have he's one of those guys, and you hear me say this an awful lot, that I wanted to interview. Uh, when I interviewed Lenny Zakatek, and there's a picture here. Let me just get to some of the pictures so you can see. I'll bring down the comments for a second. I'll come back to your comments in a second. Um, there we go. There's Pilot. There's Lenny Zakatek, who was... Next to Eric Wolfson, the most used vocalist on the Alan Parsons Project um, with Ian Berenson. And they, they, they played together quite a bit, but there you have it. There's Pilot again, Lenny Zakatek. There's the, um, the, the, the message from Alan Parsons Project. It is with deep sadness and regret. Uh, let me just move this here so I can read it. Well, you can read it. Ian was the sweetest, kindest, loving husband. This is from his wife, uh, Layla. I could ever have wished for. Musical legacy stays with us. I mean, when you consider the amount of things he played with. And just to mention again, um, he played with Joe Cocker, John Anderson of Yes, Krista Berg, Mick Fleetwood, Neil Diamond, Sting, Eric Clapton. And uh, he was at a memorial for Eric Wolfson when we lost uh, Alan Parsons' uh, partner, Eric Wolfson. I haven't done a live thing in a little while, so I'm a little rusty, guys. Sorry about that. But let me just get to some of uh, the... Oh, here. Dave Patton, who we have on, we're planning on interviewing, who was the lead singer of, um, of the of pilot. He wrote, it is with great sadness that I announced the passing of uh, Ian Barnson. Ian was the finest guitar player I ever worked with and also a longtime friend. We shared many happy and successful times together. We lived the dream of many aspiring musicians. Mary and I are feeling very nostalgic and saddened today. There you go. And there's uh, Alan Parsons. I do believe that's Ian on the top uh, right. Lenny Zakatek on the top left. And Eric Wolfson and Alan Parsons on the bottom. Eric on the left. Alan Parsons on the right. Oops, I'm trying to figure out my my uh, my pictures here. There we go. So he had been suffering, as his wife had said many years ago, a neurological thing, which ended up being dementia, and we lost him. But what a I wouldn't want to be like you to get back to that. I remember I was explaining this to my 19 year old son Chase who's a drummer, a very serious drummer, and, and, and loves great musicians, as a lot of you do. And I said, 
do you remember the guitar solo on I Wouldn't Want to Be Like You by Alan Parsons? He says, God, yeah. And I had to tell him that, well, that gentleman has passed away. Um, I'm not, this is artificial lighting I'm using today. So a lot of people are going, uh, what the heck? Where's your lights? I don't have my lights. Okay, let's get to your comments. Uh, Diane says, such sad news. Stephen Hansen says, I can't sing every, every solo. Uh, I can sing every solo he ever did. Oh, wow. Uh, James Bashirs, hey James, hello John. Stephen Hansen, uh, Ian was amazing. Uh, Riza Spindler says condolences to his family. May he rest in peace. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, uh, Chiodoni, Luis Chiodoni, our condolences go out to his family. I have always liked and listened to the Alan Parsons project. He was on all of the stuff. I should point that out. So the, he was like the, one of the main guitarists, one of the main consistent musicians on the Alan Parsons Project. And I mentioned Lenny Zakatek a while ago, very very much like Lenny, who we have interviewed uh, twice on this show. And I, I'll probably have uh, Lenny. I was just talking to him before I made my big move out west again. Um, oh, yeah, he wished me a happy birthday. Um, great vocalist. Um I don't know your username because your username is a bunch of numbers, but Keats was really, really great. I liked, I, I wanted to love Keats. I didn't love them. I liked, I liked the album, which was, like I said a while ago, an offshoot of the Alan Parsons Project. Um, and we should point out that Alan Parsons also produced, of course, Pilot and their big hit, Magic. They only had one major, major hit in North America. Uh, Dave Patton, by the way, has released a book. You can get it. If you look up Dave Patton on probably just on the internet, but he's also on Facebook and you can get more information on, on the book, which I know he was making new orders of it. He told me a few, like about a month ago, cause I was going to interview him, but then I ended up moving across the country and it's a long story. So, uh, there you go. But I, I want to put, you know, point, point out that he was just an amazing, you know, like a sharp, when you heard him play guitar. And again, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this cause one of my favorite guitar solos, I wouldn't want to be like you, Alan Parsons Project. Um, so he met Alan through working with Pilot. And uh, of course, Alan recognizes great musicians, Alan Parsons. And we've had Alan on the show uh, twice now. So he was in Magic. He was with Kate Bush for her first four albums. Played with um, a whole bunch of people. The older, Ron says, the older we all get, the more... Our rockers will pass away sad. It's very, Ron, thank you. Uh, no truer point has been said today. That's that's the, the, Shannon, my wife, was just talking to a coworker whose parents are both dealing with the dementia. And we looked at each other last night and said, isn't it amazing how much, because I'm 63, Shannon's uh, almost 11 years younger than me. And even at her age, she's getting a lot of people who in her life that are just dealing with that. And we all are. Anyone who likes classic rock is dealing with this sort of thing through their families, friends, and especially through, you know, um, the people that we grew up listening to who influenced us, who helped us get out of bed sometimes, who inspired us, who made us excited when we walked into a record store. I always say this during an obituary or a tribute, but remember the the days of walking into a record store and being completely excited, like dying with anticipation of what you were going to find in there. Hopefully, getting a, a deal. Alan Parsons was like that. I bought, I bought the uh, a couple of, um, I bought the the album with um, Magic by Pilot. I bought the Keats album. I might have gotten it for free at the radio station. Pretty sure I did. Now that I think of it, and they were just handing them out because they wanted to push. This band that was, like I said, an offshoot of the Alan Parsons Project. TJ, he was so young. Yeah, rest in peace, Ian. <sighs> Surprising. Yeah, surprising. And I hadn't thought of him for a while, but I, I I, was trying to reach out and get as many Alan Parsons Project people. It started with Lenny Zakatek, then Alan Parsons, then Lenny again, then Alan Parsons again. So um, when I get a chance to interview some of these people because you know this channel is mostly interviews almost everything we do is interviews but we're going to get back into doing live feeds now that we're settled into our new place billy rossi 46 rest in peace oh yeah david lindley yeah didn't do a thing on david we we're in the middle of our move so we didn't get a chance to to do anything so there you have it um 
I'll show you a few pictures before we take off. There he is, second from the left. Oops. Oh, there it is. George uh, Mathy says, it's players such as Ian that made Alan Parsons' music so timeless. Very true. Hey, Melody, how are you? Rest in peace. Thank you, Melody. Hope you're doing good. Let me get another picture. There's Ian on the right-hand side. Anyway, thanks everyone who, who uh, it's just, oh yeah, bassist John Regan from Ultimate Classic Rock just came up on my phone, who had played with so many people, um, uh, played with uh, Peter Frampton. We will be going on and doing a thing on him, a little tribute on him in about uh, half an hour. So thanks everyone for coming on and, and condolences are always a beautiful thing because at least we can grieve together and just reminisce together and talk about, as I mentioned, walking in that record store and being excited because of musicians like Ian, right? May he rest in peace and condolences to his family. And to you as fans, right? Take good care of yourself. It's John Bone from Rocky Street Music. You want to support the channel? All the information is in the links. Thank you.